Okay, this is Wade RV. Uh, we're starting part 5, adding speech recognition to a Visual Basic application. Uh, we're going to cover six things. We're going to talk about in general what we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to take uh, dictation with a Visual Basic application where we can speak into a microphone and it'll uh, convert their speech into um, text. I'll show you where to download the source code. Uh, we'll need to download Microsoft Speech SDK uh, um, Software Development Kit 5.1. Third thing we'll need to do is design the form and uh, copy in the source code. And fourth, we'll need to add a reference to Microsoft Speech object. And fifth, we'll need to uh, train uh, the computer to recognize our speech from the speech console. And six here, we'll run the uh, Visual Basic Pro application. Okay, you can download the source code for this project tutorial from idealprogrammer.com. You go over to the categories, go under Visual Basic and look for tutorial number five, speech recognition, and that will have links to the uh, source code for the project and also for the SDK 5.1. You must download SDK 5.1 in order for this uh, project to work if you haven't already uh, got it on your computer. Next thing we need to do is open up Visual uh, Basic uh, 2005 Express. You go to click on Start, All Programs, and yours will be in All Programs probably, but since I've recently used mine, it's showing up here. I'll click here. That opens it up. We go to File, New Project, and then uh, it'll say uh, which kind of project you want to open up these are templates and uh, you can change the name here we'll put uh, speech recognition is the name of the project and uh, we'll click on Windows application this will open up a form and an assembly over here, or my project over here. And what we need is a couple of buttons. Yeah, so we go over to the toolbar, common controls, drag a button onto the form. Then you go down to the properties, change the uh, text to start. And you change the uh, button, uh, the name, to button start. Okay, we got one done. Then we go and click on button again. And you drag that over. This will be the stop button. Change the name here to button stop. Put on there and change the text. These are the properties of the objects that you ad added recently. Okay. So this changes what displays up there when I, when I click off of it. Now it says stop. Uh, now we need a label. Drag a label on the over there by the start. Change the text for the label to status. Change the name to LBL status. Use uh, the first couple of letters to abbreviate what kind of object control you're using, referring to helps you with your documentation. And finally, we need a text box. Go over here and grab 
one. Put it here. To click on this little arrow and change it to multi line. Expand it. Drag it out. Make it neat. Change it to be called TXT box. Then we need to add a reference. Showed you how to do this in the previous uh, video uh, tutorial number four. Click on Add Reference. It's going to open up a window. We go to Com, and we're looking for Microsoft uh, Speech Object. Okay, Microsoft Speech Object. Double click that. That adds that. Uh, module to your program. We we'll go over here. We we'll click on form. The form's already up. We want to change to the code view, so we can uh, copy and paste the code that we uh, received from the link that you found in my post for the source code. You just highlight everything on that uh, code window, and then do Control V to paste your source code in there. And uh, the next step is to go to Windows Control Panel, Speech, to train your system, your computer to uh, you click on Train Profile and go through that procedure. And once you've done that, you come back, click on the green arrow to r run your program. When you click on start, you start talking, and it'll uh, try to interpret it and receive it in here. And that's how it works. Thanks.